Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another five ways to wear. And today I am styling up the Citizens of Humanity Isla jeans. They are new in my wardrobe-ish. I've had them about a month. I love these jeans. I was kind of on the fence about buying them, but I decided to go for it. And they were recently named by Who What Wear as the It Jeans of 2023 with a little roundup, which include yours truly. So I thought it was a good one to do. I've been thinking about doing this anyway because they are baggy, low-waisted jeans, so it doesn't have to be these. I actually found a really great dupe on Zara, which I will link below as well. Um, but yeah, baggy, low-waisted jeans outfit ideas, basically. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know what your favourite outfit is. And first, I want to talk about the jeans. I'm going to slide over so you can see the jeans Ways. So these are a new kind of style of jeans. Um, to me they are going to be such a water staple for 2023, um, but I can see that they could be a little bit scary. They're the dreaded low-waisted jeans that no one wanted to come back into fashion, and they're here. Um, now I just wanted to show you some outfits, because I feel like when you think of low-waisted, you think of like the 90s, and you think of like Britney with her crop tops, and you think of things like that, but just because they're low-waisted doesn't mean that you have to have your tummy out, doesn't mean that you have to have washboard abs, I certainly don't. So I thought it'd be fun to show you some different ways to style that everyone can wear. So hopefully if you're on the fence like I was, then this will give you some inspiration and ideas. And if you've already got them, then some more ideas on how to wear them. For size reference, I'm an 8 to 10 and I got a waist 27 now. They are a bit like loose on the waist, but I feel like this style lends itself to that. I probably could have gone for waist 26, but I prefer my jeans to be comfortable because I want to be able to eat a nice lunch and not have to unbutton them. Um, so especially for this kind of style where you can get away with it. So for height reference, I am five foot seven. Now I saw these first on Monique Dale. I always go on about her, she's like my style inspo. Um, but she is petite and I am not petite. I'm five foot seven, which I feel like is kind of average, but uh, slightly above average, um, and she is petite, so I was thinking, has she had them altered? Are the jeans gonna look right on me? I'm not sure. And then I saw them on the model, and the model on the website was five foot ten, so I thought, I'm just gonna try them, because they look okay on the model. And then, lo and behold, when they arrived, the fold over on them is completely undone, so, well, it's not, it was, it was folded over, but, like, it's not stitched or anything, so you can basically make them any any style of jean you want so i styled them in this video in a couple of different ways to show you um with the single fold which is my preference on styling with the double fold and with no fold at all so you can see that you can get really different lengths on them and i feel like that's amazing because it means that they'll work for all different heights so if you want to have a double fold, if you're shorter you could do a double fold or a really chunky short fold one fold or if you're or a triple fold even, um, or if you're taller, then you could completely unfold them or just do a one fold. Um, so it's really great that you've got that option. Now, the first outfit is a really simple casual look, but I feel like because the jeans are such a statement, the rest of your outfit doesn't have to work hard at all. It can just be really simple and instantly the jeans just bring everything up a level. So I've added my so I'm wearing my new Kate cardigan. I literally am obsessed with cardigan. I'll try and find a dupe, but it is a very expensive cardigan, but I've wanted it for a long time. And I love that it's got that little nipped in waist and I feel like it just kind of perfectly flows with the shape of the jeans. Then I've added my Birkenstocks and I feel like the Birkenstocks go so perfectly with these jeans. I actually think that these are the perfect shoes for these jeans. I don't think that any other shoe works quite as well as a Birkenstock with these. And I added my Celine backpack to finish the look off. This is one of my absolute favourite bags and just feel like it keeps it super casual. This would be great for something super casual like shopping with your friends. If you want to be really comfy because it's such a comfy outfit but you still want to look kind of pulled together and nice. So for outfit number two I've gone for one that has two different options on how you can wear it. So first option is another kind of super casual outfit. I've just got this fine knitted top from And Other Stories. I've got this in three different colours because it's such a wardrobe staple. I've got it in cream, 
black and black and white stripe and this is a really easy comfy outfit actually completely undid the hem on these which really elongates your legs so there's no cuff whatsoever it's a really easy comfy go-to outfit tight top and the baggy jeans it's super flattering i feel like because the jeans they are quite baggy they always make the top half look smaller if you're wearing something tight then i've got my chunky sandals on for market i got these last year they are beautiful and they have come back this year and they do them in white as well which i'm so tempted by because i literally lived in my black ones last year anyone who's been following me for a while will know that and this kind of look would work perfectly with like a razor vest or tight fitting t-shirt uh, any kind of layer base layer that's like tighter would work perfectly like a fitted one and this was a great one for layering too you could put a blazer a leather jacket cardigan and denim jacket if you wanted to do double denim anything like that and because you've got the tighter layer underneath it doesn't matter if you're wearing something more oversized on the top because if you've got oversized with oversized then you've got the tight layer underneath that kind of balances it all out i love it with an oversized blazer if you're going to go for shopping or for meetings and things this would be a perfect outfit for a city break to shopping and just mooching around but you want to look a bit smarter then i added my oasis shoulder bag i love this bag so much you guys are going to see it a lot it's great for just shoving everything in and i feel like it really really reminds me of the potato bag so outfit number three i could literally do a whole video on just this outfit i could do blue jeans white shirt combinations and like different ways to style it i could do an entire video because there are so many different ways to style them i thought i'd do instead to share a day look and a night look with the same shirt and jeans combination but instead I thought I'd do a day look and a night look uh, with the same shirt and the jeans to show the versatility of the look so the first one we have got the shirt just a couple of buttons done up a little bit tucked in a little bit tucked out um, just to show again that you have got a waist um, so it's not like completely drowning you though I don't mind that look we'll get to that later and I popped my Havianas on I love a flip flop I feel like they're such a classic style these have actually got a slightly thicker uh, sole I'll link them because it's like a minimal amount but it makes such a difference and then I have got my classic Chanel bag and I feel like this is such a simple easy outfit it's kind of got a juxtaposition with the flip-flops and the chanel bag but i feel like it works really well and obviously you could change your flip-flops out for a smarter sandal if you wanted to but i just wanted to show you because they are a baggy jean i feel like footwear could be an issue in deciding on what to wear so i wanted to show you as many different shoe and jean options as possible so to switch to night time i completely undid the shirt and then i tucked one bit in and tucked the other bit in so it's kind of like a crossover um, and then it's like a low cut. It kind of reminds me a bit of the Jacquemus style. And then I popped on a little kitten heel. I hate that word, but <laughs> I love that style of shoe. At the moment, I just think they look so good. I love them with the baggy jeans. Again, the juxtaposition of the baggy kind of masculine jeans and then the really super feminine shoes. And I feel like this is a, such a simple outfit, but it works perfectly. I just don't think you can beat it. This is such a great one as well for a city break or something the two different looks if you want to go from day to night and you're out and about and you don't want to go back to the hotel you could just have the bigger bag like the oasis one that you could put your heels in and you're good to go for this outfit i wanted to make it a little bit smarter so i also added my styled bag it's got a little bit of embellishment and glitter on it so it just feel like it brings up the outfit up a level and makes it feel a bit more evening appropriate so for outfit number four i've gone for the classic jeans and a white t-shirt look and this t-shirt is the perfect one for these jeans in my opinion it's not cropped but it's like literally the perfect boxy shape and it just overlaps the waistband the tiniest bit so you can still see the waist and the shape of the jeans um, but then the t-shirt doesn't have to be kind of tucked in not that a tucked t-shirt would look bad I just really like the untucked look of this one you really can't beat jeans and a white t-shirt and like I said the best thing about these jeans is that because they are such a statement even with just jeans and a white t-shirt, they bring it up a level. And I wanted to show you again the jeans in another way. So I did a double fold on these and made them a little bit shorter. And I think they look so nice with the New Balance trainers because you can just see a little bit of ankle showing. But I love the neutral style of these and they're, they're cream, the t-shirt's cream. I feel like it all ties in really nicely together. And then I've got my biker jacket over the top. This is a one size fits all biker jacket. So it's super oversized, which as you know, I am all about. As I said before, I have been wearing this outfit a lot 
and I've been mostly wearing it with my Birkenstocks um, and it, as I said the Birkenstocks do look incredible with these jeans and I think it would look nice with the Birkenstocks with the double fold too well it does I'll tell you now but I just wanted to show you with a different pair of shoes and I do think that the trainers look great I'm definitely going to be wearing this look going forward with the trainers but for outfit number five I really wanted to do a super duper casual look and really lean into the casual vibes of the jeans I've gone for a super oversized knit and as you guys know I live in jumpers and oversized jumpers so it was really hard for me to pick one but I went with this Amazon one which I adore. I have got it in three different, no, four different colours. I've got it in cream, navy, like a caramel camel colour, and in grey. And I would get more because it's just my go-to. It's like a thinner, it's like kind of like a cotton knit rather than like a wool knit, which means that it is a lot lighter. It doesn't feel as thick and fluffy so it doesn't make you as hot so it's perfect for this kind of in-between weather and this is from the men's section and I get XXL or XL so it's super duper 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 oversized and I actually am going to contradict what I said earlier I love this look for like completely drowning yourselves in clothes I know a lot of people say you shouldn't do it you should show your waist off but I love it and I think it looks so nice with some chunky sandals. These are my Hermes ones, again, from the men's section. It pays to have big feet, guys. And I just think this is the perfect look. I added my Oasis Bottega Jeep again, and the black ties in the black of the sandals. If you wanted to make this a tiny bit more flattering, if possible, then you can always just get, like I've done here, little bit of the jeans and just tuck it in with your thumb just kind of shows the pocket of the jeans and i do feel like it kind of breaks the outfit up a bit and shows yes you do have a waist and that is all of my outfits for the isla citizens of humanity jeans and i will link everything that i mentioned below that i can find in stock and if it's not in stock then i will link the best alternative that I can find. If there's anything that you want to know about the jeans or if there's anything you want me to style up, any video requests, then do let me know and I'll get those filmed for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I literally put so much effort into it compared to usual. I feel like with two children, I often am like, just film it whenever I've got time. But I wrote down, each, I spent ages planning each outfit to make sure that there was loads of variety. And I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys some styling tips and things rather than just talking through the outfit. So I hope that you guys found this one more helpful than my usual videos. And I'm definitely gonna be doing this going forward. Um, so if you're new here, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button. Um, if you haven't already and you watch me a lot, then I would love you to do it too, because that means a lot to me. Um, don't forget to like this video too. That also is great for the algorithm and everything and just very much appreciated by me. Um, and yeah, that's everything really. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.